Alright guys, Diecastmania here with another video. So, uh, Hot Wheels recently released the Kenworth W900 in their Retro Entertainment series as part of the, uh, Smokey and the Bandit subcategory. This isn't the first rig that Hot Wheels has done, but it is the first licensed rig casting that's been used in a long time. Convoy Custom. Who could forget this piece? This one was hard to find back when it came out and it remains a collector's favorite. Long Gone, Long Shot. This one was also another uh, crazy hard to find piece as um, they were quite popular. And the Thunder Roller. 1983 release. And the 2013, I think September, October, uh, KD mail in. Well, in 1982 and 1981, Hot Wheels launched the steering rigs line to compete oops, with Matchbox Convoys. Um, <clears throat> this is a 1982 model steering rig which was the last year for steering rigs. What made them different from Matchbox Convoys was this, the clear steering wheel on the trailer. The steering wheel enables you to uh, steer the truck and pretty much drive it around. So I'll show you how it works. Steering wheel, if you turn it, turns this rod inside the trailer. It controls this uh, piece of metal that hooks into this special hole to the left of the kingpin or main connection point. So basically you just drop it on there and you're ready to go. So there's rubber tires on the back wheels of the trailer and on the mid wheels or middle wheels of the truck. This is a Mac U600 truck. Um, first thing you may notice off the bat is the really short engine compartment and the offset cab. The advantage of this design was that the uh, driver could uh, navigate and steer a lot easier than on one of these trucks where they had to look straight over the long hood. So he'd be right over here and he'd be able to uh, see the road and uh, exactly where he's driving and turning. And they had a, an impressive steering radius due to the um, short wheelbase and the shorter um, engine compartment which made visibility and turning a lot easier. So I'll show you the details on the truck. The exhaust stack. Some of the lines and stuff like that. The kingpin. The cab's real nicely detailed. All the air horns and running lights. And the air intake slash air cleaner. Very nice piece. Two fuel tanks, the differentials, the bottom of the uh, Maxidine engine and the uh, transmission. Maxidine was the uh, branding that Mac used for their own eng diesel engines back in the uh, 70s and 80s. They also did a uh, single pack version. They didn't just make this one Sunset Citrus Company one, they also did a orange Allied Van Lines. Uh, steering rig one. That one is pretty hard to find as well along with any of the Mac U600 steering rigs. So the single cab, uh, single pack version came with decals. They also did a blue one that came with red, white, and blue uh, stars and stripes decals. So these are like stickers. This one's almost got like screaming chicken slash uh, eagle looking um, decal on the hood. This is T and B Transport, New Jersey. Basically the same exact casting, except for one minor detail. 
the 19, early 1982 piece said Mac V600. This was a big mistake as Mac never made a V series. They only made the U600 series and the uh, R series. Of course, this one's a uh, U series Mac. And on the other one, the late 1982 version, V600 is completely blocked out. Um, they probably picked up on that mistake or they probably got a few angry phone calls from Mac telling them they made a big mistake. They also changed the style of riv rivets they used, so I'm questioning maybe the fact. This one could have been from a different factory as they made these in uh, Hong Kong and uh, France as well. So anyway, that uh, ends the video on the uh, Hot Wheels Steering Rigs 1982 Mac U600. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.